Well, 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 Helldivers, a brand new leak has come through and uh, yeah, this looks exciting. So we've all been wondering what's been going on with the next faction, when are we going to be seeing it? And we have seen an image come through with maybe a way that the Illuminate could be making their appearance to the game. I'm going to be showing you guys all the information today and reading through what we have. I am so excited about this and we're just awaiting our next major order at, the, at this moment in time of recording the video because we just completed the major, major order of actually wiping out 2 billion bugs. Um, so it's definitely time to fry up some new enemies. If you guys do enjoy today's video and you get your daily Helldivers news and updates, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe on today's video as it means the world to me and let's get in with the news. So first, Helldivers 2 Illuminate faction images have been found in the game files. I'll be leaving a link to the source if you want to go and check it out, um, but you'll be seeing it in this video as well. So Helldivers 2 players have been bracing for the arrival of a third faction, the Illuminate. Ever since the game launched there, um, as, uh, as there is a big old void in the bottom of the map that looks like rife for invasion, and now we are seeing some further indications that their arrival may be here. Um, in the game itself, a main point... Um, uh, in the game itself, a main point of like theories and stuff um, is the apparent cloaked ships in the sky, which we thought were the automatons. But given the events of the recent bot push, I don't think that uh, th those shops, uh, those shops, <laughs> those ships were theirs. There are also blue beams, uh, blue beams that came down from the sky that were never fully explained. And uh, you know, there is also a radio message that you can hear on your ship sometimes saying, "Super Earth lied. They didn't want you to know." The Illuminate, they're coming. So we have our first image of the Illuminate tech that has been found in the game files as per a recent update. This is from Ironsight and Dark728 on the Helldivers leak subreddit who have posted images of what appears to be an Illuminate warp gate. So what do you guys think on the screen right now? As you can see, this kind of tech is nothing currently in the game, um, not a bot or bug, and it is instead the alien race from Helldivers 1 that could be best described as something um, to the Protoss from StarCraft, perhaps. The gate shown here appears to be what summons Illuminate until the hole is plugged with a grenade or giant bomb. So many people have and hell divers have been saying that I am ready to throw in whatever I can to take down these holes. Now I guess this is going to be like a first indication of what types of missions uh, we will have to do. Like similar to the bug missions where it's saying close as many bug holes as you possibly can. This is going to be quite a similar thing to how, you know, you're going to have to close certain warp um, warp portals, um, which I guess the Illuminate will be coming through from space. This is really, really exciting news. And, uh, you know, everyone is looking for new leaks every single day to try and find out. And and what they go on to say is pretty much, again, there is no timeline here, given that we're in the middle of a big um, automaton, um, uh, automaton push towards Super Earth. It doesn't seem likely that they're that imminent. But here's how the Illuminate are described from the first game. Highly sophisticated, their civilization has endured for several hundreds of thousands of years. Um, they call themselves the Squiff and are originally an aquatic species. These creatures, dressed in ceremonial robes, have managed to create a vast and extremely complex neutral network for space travel. These species have since taken their first tentative steps towards the stars, produced weapons of mass destruction in a large scale, and as such, um, they are something that the people of Super Earth cannot ignore. There were 12 different Illuminate units you fought in Helldivers 1, and no doubt many of those will carry on to their arrival here, but those actual models are nowhere in the files just yet, only this gate from what we can tell. So, a new front of the war is coming. When? We'll find out soon enough. 
That was from Paul Tassi um, of Forbes, which I always absolutely love reading th- um, through um, Paul's stuff. But it's it is just so so exciting to see that we're gonna have this coming in soon, and because they've been added into the uh, game files, uh, like uh, as of the recent update, it means that they are getting closer and closer. And hopefully, as you always see from the map, there's always different space from where from where we're being attacked from, whether we're being attacked from the left, from the bots, whether we're being attacked from the right, from the uh, from the bugs. Down below could be the chance for the Illuminate to take their attack on Super Earth. Now, um, another thing as well is there's not just uh, there's not just uh, the Illuminate. You know, we've also know of Cyberstan, where the cyborgs live. And we know that the cyborgs used to, well, were actually like kind of like the founding fathers of the um, of the bots uh, that we currently fight at this moment in time. And uh, we we know that they're now under super Earth control, which means at this moment in time they're happy with the way they're living. But rumors have been going around um, and uh, of the law of Hell Divers that. They don't want to be under super earth um, control and they want their escape and they want their freedom. So all could just completely blow up at one point. Um, I'm not sure whether uh, Joel will uh, will put us under that pressure, but who knows? Maybe Joel doesn't have an, any control over it. We're going to have to be prepared and we're going to have to be ready to fight whatever is coming in front of us. I do not think it will be coming within the new major order, of course, because uh, this type of patch with the Illuminate would probably need to be um, a downloadable patch. I would have thought, if you guys don't know, you have two... Two different downloads you could even well two different updates so you could have a server side update which is always what the um uh, the war bonds are whereas when they release a new war bonds you don't have to download a patch which is a client side patch when you have to download the client side patch that's what comes every tuesday with like new bug fixes and everything like that um so i don't know i feel like it could be a server side update but because it's actually adding brand new characters to the game and new models then maybe that just wouldn't be possible unless they're already being because some some developers tend to add things into updates and without us kind of knowing if that makes sense so that sometimes makes patches smaller i know arc I cover a lot of arc that, uh, stuff they do it with maps when they release new maps um they sort of implement an update which may look bigger and not actually make sense why it's that big but it's actually because they're preparing for something they're about to release so, so they can make the patch smaller so who knows they could even be at they could have even been adding them in from time to time and then they will just one day make an appearance or there will be a client patch to download but anyway guys exciting but scary times on in the land of super earth and i'm excited to see what's to come this weekend leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you in my next video very soon see you guys there